Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about dog hair. <laughs> so dog hair is one of those things where it's almost the last to think about when you're choosing a tent or when you're camping or backpacking but it's one of those most annoying things that we have to deal with as dog owners when we want to take our dogs with us for our camping adventures. So what I have here today for you is five different types of pet hair removers that I thought um, based off of the Amazon reviews would be good to try out on a tent like situation. So we have everything from a lint hairbrush to a sponge to a mini pet hair detailer to another mini travel lint brush and then something I thought might be a good kitchen hack that we could use for it which would be a silicone sponge. So here we have the Evercare pet hair glove and here we have the Gonzo pet hair lifter which is kind of like a sponge. It feels wet. I haven't opened it up yet but it feels kind of wet. It's not supposed to be wet. And then we've got the unnamed brand, which there are a ton of these online, um, which is a mini pet hair detailer. And then I've got a cheapo travel lint brush remover. And then something I picked up at Sierra, which is just a simple silicone um, sponge. So what I want to do is um, actually take some pet hair from Remy's blankets that I watched, put it in the put it in the tent, um, and then see which one actually works best which would be really great for either backpacking or camping to clean out your tent from pet hair. One of the other things I wanted to try to do as well is think about if I had to put this in Remy's pack, what size and weight I want to use. So the sponge, for example, I could cut down to half its size. So I'm going to try to cut each of these a little bit smaller because they're supposed to be travel size and be able to easily take in your pack with you. Okay, first up we have the Evercare Lint and Pet Hair Pickup Mitt. So we'll unbox this and give it a weight and then cut it down to a reasonable size. All right, the original mitt comes in at 1.5 ounces. So if you cut it in half, you can get it to 0.8 ounces and it still works like a mitt. All right, next up we have the Gonzo Pet Hair Lifter, the only one out of all five that actually is made in the USA. So we'll go ahead and unbox this, give it a weight, cut it down and give it another weight. Okay, out of the box, the original weight is 3.9 ounces. So cutting it down to about one third of the size, we have 1.3 ounces. Third up, we have the unnamed brand. Seriously, I couldn't actually find the brand name on this box, but unnamed brand, Mini Pet Hair Detailer. And this one is 1.9 ounces. Now note that this one actually has the different sized teeth on here. So I'll be interested to see if it can clean the mesh screens a little bit better. And fourth, we have our mini travel lint brush cleaners. These actually came in a pack of six, but I just have the one. So we'll give it a wait, and we won't actually cut this down any further. All right, starting weight, 0.6 ounces. And lastly, we have our silicone sponge, which was not a pet hair remover whatsoever, but it may be a good kitchen hack to try to cut down. Um, a lot of the times your vacuum cleaners that are pet hair removals will have this similar process, so I thought it'd be good to test out. So we'll give it a weight. So starting weight, one ounce. If I cut it down to half the size, it's 0.6 ounces. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm currently inside my tent right now, and what I've done is taken that big fur ball that I had, a, literally a fur ball, and I've rubbed it on the insides of the screens and all over the bottom of the tent, actually trying to get static. And then I've also taken one of my favorite pair of hiking pants and spread the love on those pants because that's one of the big things with pet hair as well. So we are gonna test each of these products and see how well it actually takes off the pet hair. This is definitely, See that? Looks okay on the screens. Looks great on the floors. 
definitely easy to remove. So I would say it works okay on the pants. Didn't really get everything off. Testing out the gonzo sponge. Gonzo sponge a little bit harder to clean off, but I got most of it off. Now let's try the pants. Would say the gonzo sponge, not so great on clothing. All right, next up, we're gonna do this mini pet hair detailer, which actually got a lot of great reviews on Amazon. So mini pet hair detailer was okay on the screens. I ended up starting with the big tooth and going all the way down and it seemed to work out pretty well. And then on the floors, this actual flat side was really great for sweeping and getting actually some of the dirt that was um, stuck in that fur ball. So we're gonna try it on the pants now. About the same as the other ones. Okay, next up, our little travel lint brush. Unknown brand. <coughs> Not so good on the floors or screens. Got the outside of it, but didn't really get anything that was embedded deep in the screen. Try it on the pants. This one seemed to actually work best so far on the pants. And last up, our silicone sponge. The silicone sponge actually seems to work best of all of them. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is having to clean it, but I'll try running some water through it or swishing it in a bowl. See if it's easy to clean once it gets wet. I would say probably about equal to the other ones. So which one worked the best? Overall, I thought the silicone sponge actually worked the best. It was the best at grabbing the hairs from the screens, cleaning the clothes, and also it could be used in a variety of situations, especially out in the back country. Maybe you've got really muddy legs or you're trying to scrub something uh, from under your nails. This actually is a little bit more universal as a piece. So for 0.6 ounces and $2.99 for the full sponge, I think this is definitely worth putting in your pack or in your dog's pack since you're kind of using it for them. Um, second, I would rate the good old Lint Mint? Lint mint? No. Standard lint mint. Lint. Lint? Lint? Yes. Lint mint. Lint mint. Just because it had a really large surface area for the weight so you could bring a little bit more of it along to get the bottom of the floors of the tent. It brushed off most of the screen here, not the stuff that was deeply embedded and worked really well on the clothes. I would not even, even look at purchasing this thing. It really just kind of brushed things and didn't really scrape and grab any of the pet hair from it. So save your money. This one was the most expensive as well. So save your money. And then the Sconzo one actually worked pretty well on the screens and on the tent floor. It is the heaviest of them all and it didn't really work as well as I thought it was gonna work on the clothes. But what you could do is actually cut a piece off like this to clean the screens and cut a piece off here and make a little, I sort of, two-sided or two different textured type of lint brush to clean clothes and general purpose area and also get deep into the screens. Anyways, if you found this information helpful, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content and wanna learn more about backpacking, camping and hiking with your dog, um, remember to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching.